cost making uh, 8k a month, but then you'd need 200,000 mercenaries. Okay, got Avion down. Now let's say hi to these. So right here we've got uh, 47, 48 frontline troops. Take a look at the military thing. It's, uh, combat with is 40. I need to open up my calculator here. Because we're fighting in mountains. So we need to do 40 times... Hold on. Times uh, 0 0.34 equals 13. So. We'll do something like, oh, see, that's 8, 9, 10, 11. 10, 13, 1, 2, 3, get myself a fancy fancy leader, send them in there. a certain kind of uh, elegance to invade people in mountains. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's negative 50%, and that's my bad. That's my bad. I should have sent in 20 guys. Instead, I sent in 13, so we're going to take a lot of unnecessary losses here. I thought it was negative 66%. Apparently, it's negative 50, so that's my bad. That's okay, though. Still only lost 8,000 to his uh, 16,000. If you attack people in mountains, you want to do it. Uh, we'll attack him into mountains again and I'll do it properly and then I'll show you exactly why we do what we do in this, uh, in this here game. Yeah, supply limit was. Uh, I mean, uh, combat with was 20, that's kind of bad. Kind of bad, not gonna lie. Kind of stupid of me. Okay, we'll survive. We'll manage. We always do. He's still a fort in Graubünden. I'd like to siege that down because this guy is stuck here. May as well send that guy up there. Now, let's find ourselves that last kill one stack and hopefully they'll leave the war after me killing them because I really would like to bring this 64k to bear in the uh, front line there. I wonder how the French are doing in terms of men and manpower. Well, they actually gained manpower. But their army is also more consistent of mercenaries. Wonder if they're taking any loans. I do hope so. Since you're Dutch, can I hear the correct pronunciation of the provinces so I'm not butchering them as hard? Okay. Holland. Friesland. Gelre. Utrecht. Breda. Limburg. Zeeland. Antwerpen. Gent. Vlaanderen. Brabant. Henegouwen. Luik. Namen. And apparently this is Kalos, but that was hardly ever Dutch to begin with, so 
<laughs> that one really uh, surprised me. When I first heard about that, even uh, Hai No, which is apparently Heinekawa, but I mean that really surprised me. Like I didn't, I didn't know about that until I learned Dutch history. And not Dutch history is in the history that the Dutch get to learn when they're in elementary or primary, uh, elementary or uh, high school. That was, that's just you know completely new to me as well. So. He didn't know that one. Should probably just say I know there. Okay, so we squished another uh, kill one stack. They're still on high. Well, they can, if they really want to, they can go ahead and fuck about in that land. I'm not. I'm not gonna be dealing with that shit for much longer. We do need to. Uh, ah. down. Oh, we actually have some more exhaustion here. That might bite me in the ass, considering I'm integrating two vassals, so... Be willing to give me some points. You would. Excellent. So, give me those Diplo points. One of their provinces if Bush comes to shop, but I really need to remove some nobility land. Because they're higher than 50% loyal. And with more than 10% of the land, can't have that. You want to keep them between 40 and 50, preferably on the low 40 side, because it ticks up by 1% every year. So you want to make sure that it's actually ticking up. Buy down that war exhaustion. And do I have my focus on Diplo? I do not. I should be putting my focus on Diplo though, because it's gonna be a wee bit of trouble if I don't put that focus on Diplo. Now we need to see if we can't squish any of these stacks without fighting the main force, preferably luring him into mountains in the process. So we fight something in the mountains, and then kill it before he can reinforce it, or at least that's the plan. Didn't work. Did not work. Doesn't stop us from uh, trying to kill this stack, though. <laughs> Stuck a weapon at it. Yes. Right, now I knew this situation was going to happen in a relatively timely fashion. So, the combat width is 20. Let's not fuck things up this time. So, combat width is 20. So, let me get 20,000 cannons right on the get-go. Uh, hold on, we want to do this a little bit differently. I want to... Uh, how do I want to do this? I want to do that. 
And we'll get... Uh, sort by condition. Okay, so we'll do 4,000 and then we want 16,000 infantry. We'll wait a couple days, and then we'll get the second stack. Now, as you can see, the combat width is uh, 20 here. Base is 15, we add 25, and then the mountains while the fire is negative 50. All of the units in this entire army soften morale damage, but only this front row here, as well as the cannons in behind, actually do anything. So all of the units soften morale damage, but only these guys fight. What you want to do is, you want to send in 20 guys, not more than that. 20 frontline units and 20 backline units, so cannons and... Infantry and Caver, frontline units. And then you want to send more guys in later on so that you uh, don't waste their morale. Florey, I was looking for advice for my world conquest run. I have 500 force limit autos in 1712, but there are still two blobs in Europe, Brandenburg and Austria, with 100k units each. How to deal with them? Their manpower is crazy. Go Mercs. You can. Um, what I would advise, if you're going to fight a war like that, you know it's just going to take a really long time. Uh, try and uh, have like a 30 stack or a 40 stack, something easy that you can use to gobble up small guys that you... Uh, that you can spend, I mean, that you can, you know, core in the meantime. So, some easy, like, right now I would be fighting people like Gujarat and Malwa and Hindustan and Delhi, Punjab, Khorasan, with like a 40 stack, so that I can keep my overextension at 100% whilst fighting that really long war. That's just going to take a really long time, you know? You want to keep your um, overextension high if you're doing a world conquest run. So if you're fighting a long war like the, like, suppose you'd be fighting Portugal right now, I just know that that's gonna take a really long time. No matter how many guys I have, because you gotta sail over to all these fucking islands and siege them down. And, um, you know, at the same time, you'll be wanting to fight easy people. I'll be wanting a tick of morale here. And some more mercenary calf. I'm hiring uh, calf because calf are slightly better for me now. We don't want with uh, aristocratic ideas and everything. I wonder where this army is gonna go. Apparently, Piedmont and then Novara. I don't know. Oh no, just Piedmont. And I'm gonna catch them and squish them. I'm sure. This is actually a closer battle than I thought. It's okay. It's a close battle, but a battle we won nonetheless. Is there no forced march? If you have your units on forced march, they don't recover morale. Well, this is certainly going to be a squish. arrive on the second so we'll have a day's time to recover your men if you arrive at the first day of the month you do not recover morale and you do not recover men so if you want to recover your morale and your and gain reinforcements you need to make sure that you arrive somewhere on the second because if you were, if you arrive on the first on the first you gain the morale not from the 31st to the first on the first you gain the morale so you want to attack on the second 
the same logic applies when you're trying to squish people. If you arrive, if you make sure that you arrive on the first day, they won't get reinforcements and they won't recover morale. So something to keep in mind. Oh wow, that was sloppy. That was really sloppy. I've got a bit of sweaty fingers going on. You might reinforce and that will fuck things up. Yeah, that fucked things up. Oh no, I didn't. Ah, there you go. Staka wipe no jutsu continues. And he's going to arrive on the 16th. Now it's going to take him like four days. So if we can get here by the 20th, we might be able to squish him. 28th, I don't think we can squish him. No. It's like he leaves within six days. So. Probably turn that off and then get some extra horses down there in the longer dock. We could also teach down some of these provinces, because why not? I mean, we're here now. This guy got stuck, so we have to send him along with those. And let's continue boring shit. Now, how's Kilwa looking? Kilwa is trying to siege down one of my vassal's provinces, and there's really nothing I can do about that. And it's sad to be sure, but I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. Now, how is the French army looking today? Oh. Oh, that is just an embarrassment. <laughs> he got uh, pretty eviscerated there. Quite happy. Yeah, France has an obscene amount of forts, but they're all low-level forts, right? So, it doesn't take me that long to uh, break them apart. <laughs> He's very confused right now. He doesn't know what to do. I like it. Speaking about things I like, I'd like to build some more of these uh, lamp bar buildings. Anything 750 or 500, I'll build it. I wouldn't want to spend all my money. Uh, I want to leave uh, some buck change in case something goes awry. Am I not insta squishing the four or five stacks? Uh, I haven't been fighting four or five stacks. I do hope I siege that down there. Yeah. If they reinforce uh, an army, then there's not going to be a squish, right? If they reinforce, if they're part of a reinforcing force, a reinforcing force. Also, in order to squish four or five stacks, you need four th 40,000 or 50,000 shit. And I, I'm not going to move off a siege just to stack wipe a, f a 4,000 stack. No, sir. I've got bigger fish to fry, and those fish are made of stone, and they're called forts. I want those. Dead. Now, in the grasslands, you know, I, I should be fighting with like 4,000 men, but you know, cannot be arse doing that every single battle. It's mostly in the... Uh, in mountains where you want to do that. It's where it has the most effect. So we've integrated Najd. It's nice. Hey, now hold on. What the f... Okay. We'll be moving over here and hopefully uh, this gets unseat... Uh, this gets seated up before that gets seated down. Now, we've integrated Najd. Apparently I never got Bahrain, it's fine. 
happen. However, it does mean that there are some states that I want to make. You see, if you integrate a vassal, you get full cores on them, so I won't need to core this land anymore. So this territory of a man, I can make this into a state. And it will increase my income by 220. Uh, it didn't lower the autonomy, because he's raised the autonomy here. That's fine. After the autonomy is dropped down, we'll make uh, tons of money. And it, because it's full cores, I don't need to worry about, uh, you know, coring it after this. I can just, like, make it into a state and I'll immediately have uh, full cores on it. Now, there were a lot of forts in here. I don't really appreciate those. That should have increased my mercenary count, but apparently it did not. And 1.60 might be the best way to start the three mountains achievement in the way that I did it. Maybe, perhaps, probably not in the way I followed up on that. But it seemed like an interesting way to follow up, and I really wanted to show you uh, trade company abuse. So, there you go. Now, there are a couple provinces that need to core. Namely the provinces I held, not the ones that my vassal held, but that's fine. It's not like... Oh, he never cored this. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm not going to get full cores on these then, because he never finished coring that. That is the biggest reason why I wanted to integrate my vassal, is because he was a complete retard and he didn't core anything. This guy cored shit, but he went bankrupt and I, I just didn't like the way those two vassals were functioning. They were just completely retarded. Like, they didn't core anything, and uh, they went bankrupt every two years. It was ridiculous. Being controlled by the Demi and all that. Can I please get extra mercenaries now? No, I cannot. It's sad. You really ought to give the clergy some more land, though. There you go. Gotta be grabbing that. But yeah, in the way that I did it in this game, it's the best way to start by far because you become western tech so fast it really is worth it i think i cut my elbow i don't know what <sighs> it doesn't feel too good come on siege this down i need to uh... Liberate that. Oh, come on, man. That being such a douche nozzle. Speaking about douche nozzles, Kilwa is a medium. That is quite unfortunate. Yeah, that is the second attempt on the YouTube channel. Now, there's another French army that needs a beating. I think they'll be going for uh, Milan. I don't want to attack him in the mountains if I don't have to. I'd much rather fight him in, in Lombardy. And I'll keep moving along the coast. Or, you know, I could move into the French heartland. That'd be easier to siege, too. I doubt I need to siege down everything, so... Manpower should help out. Wow, though. So much death. Alright, on to Bourgogne, and then on to Paris. This war will be over before Christmas. <sighs> Kiel was still not willing to peace out, and the fact that they've got this occupied means that this is going... Oh, no, no. It's doing fine. 
doing fine four points, so we're still making about seven. That's uh, it's fine by me. Guess this is an offensive war, right? Yes, it is. It is. Is it copyrighted lots of random numbers? What song is that? Can you let me know? Nice word for one reference. I must have made that uh, subconsciously. <laughs> Alright, war is over by Christmas. Oh, that has been said in so many more wars than just World War I. The said after uh, Operation Market Garden as well. <laughs> oh. Now that is interesting. And I would leave him with six days to run away. That's gonna leave him with three days to run away. And lo and behold, it was good that I I did that because we were going to arrive in the 29th and that would leave things to chance here. And I don't like leaving things to chance. No, sir. Not me. Oh. Get shrekt, motherfucker. Right. Putois! Actually, take a dive down in Bourbon first. Oui, oui, très bien. The French will submit to the rule of the Okinawan Oracle. Wait, wait, come here. Let me get some. We know that's a 49 stack. That is definitely a 49 stack. We are to run away here. Ooh, are we gonna catch these? Nope. We might if we do like that. Sheesh. Don't want to lose my prestige. It's going to make it legitimately hard to fight the French if I do that. Dog gladly pay it. Uh, some military points for that. We actually integrated some uh, knifed soldiers here. Might be able to pull something off in that case. Come on, kill what? It's over. It's over! I really wish you would just go away. Uh, so, this is really annoying. Like, this is. fucking unacceptable. I'll not have that in my future wars against France. Like, if he kept walking through this way, I would have slaughtered all of the, his men. But because of this, he, he's just allowed to fucking walk into my land, siege, siege down my vassals, and then I can't integrate them. Like, that is just ridiculous. I cannot abide by that. I could siege down Paris and get a ticking war score, or I could leave that for last, considering how we probably get call for peace if I do that, and then not get the, the war, uh, the peace deal I want, or rack up a lot of unnecessary war exhaustion. <laughs> I am, uh, I'm not one for unnecessary war exhaustion. No, thank you. So I'll be taking out some other forts first until we're at about. 60% war score, and then we'll take out Paris. Yeah, Kilber should be close to uh, piecing out. I mean, I don't expect them to last much longer. A ton of wars? I doubt it. Let me just see. It says it says uh, seven. Well, it says nine, but really it's seven. 
It might not even be seven. Because, you know, imperialism. And we still haven't gotten the... this thing. Which is, is gonna make it even cheaper! So, there you go. Where enthusiasm is at 4, that's gonna keep dropping down. Trading in Hawaiian. Interesting. Our enthusiasm is gonna keep dropping down by about one every month, so be good. Oh, thank you, Skip, for subscribing for three months in a row. You Danish bastard! Thank you so much. You Danish dog. Oh, shucks. It seems like we have to... Actually, no. No, we don't need to seat down Paris first. We'll move down to La Bourde. Four enthusiasm is in. One. Two more months and then we'll peace out, kill. And uh, I think we should have, like... We'll probably end up getting 50% worse after peacing out, kill. 